Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is Creator Redeemer God. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. In that single verse alone, the prophet Isaiah, in fact, God speaking through the prophet Isaiah, says that he is our creator and our redeemer. And of course, the Bible opens with that very fact, that very declaration. Quote, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. End of quote, Genesis 1 verse 1. And God uses that singular fact, the fact that he is the creator of the heavens and the earth, to separate himself from the other gods, the false gods who have not created the heavens and the earth. We read in Jeremiah chapter 10, if we read verse 11 and verse 16, it says, quote, Thus shall ye say unto them, the gods that have not made the heaven and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. End of quote. So here God says that I'm not like those gods. They did not create the heavens and the earth. And that is the reason why God is worthy of worship. The fact that he created the heavens and the earth. That is why he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. That is why all creation worship him. Everyone, both angels and men. The one singular reason why we praise and worship him is because he's the creator. Quote, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. End of quote, Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. But God did not only create, he also redeemed after sin intruded his creation. He redeemed the world and he redeemed the world and that's why he called himself the redeemer. I have redeemed you. Now, who is this creator redeemer God? We are told in John chapter 1 from verses 1 to 3 that, that Jesus Christ is the creator. In fact, the beginning verse, which is verse 1, is similar to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. It says, quote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were created by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. End of quote, John 1, 1 to 3. So, Jesus Christ, the Word, is the Creator. How do we know is Jesus? Verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So, it is Jesus who came down from heaven and incarnated, in other words, became flesh. And this same Jesus is said to be the Creator. In fact, Paul writes it this way in Colossians. Colossians chapter 1, 16. To 18, it says, For by him were all things created, that were in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things. And by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church. Who is 
the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. End of quote. So, Jesus Christ is the creator, and then he is the redeemer. He's the one that redeemed us from sin. Romans chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, quote, But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. End of quote. So Jesus Christ is the creator of Genesis, and he is the redeemer that redeemed us from wrath. What a God. Jesus Christ is the center of the scriptures, and we must open our hearts and accept him today and let him be our creator, redeemer, God. Father, we give you glory. We worship you. We thank you for Jesus, whom you sent to this world to save us. We see that he is the creator. He is the one who went to Calvary to redeem us. Bless us today even as we continue to see him for who he is, for some people to see him with new eyes. So shine through, Lord, and enter into our hearts and bless us today. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.